Hello everyone, it's Baphomet, coming to you live from internet, and today I wanted to talk about something, um, just got done losing a couple more games in solo queue competitive, and um, it's getting to a point where I'm kind of confused, I mean, uh, previously I was placed at about 3800 and I made the mistake of uh, playing super late at night, but now as I try to push back up, I feel like I'm playing to my full extent. I feel like I'm playing as much as my potential could be. And even still, it's not following through because the teammate doesn't the team doesn't coordinate or push through at crucial times, even when communication is being used. We are talking and saying where people are, what to do. And it just falls through. And I mean, I might feel it might seem kind of, you know, childish to be complaining about not being able to go up to master um, because a lot of people seem to have been placed a bit lower this season. But even so, um, it's kind of frustrating because I feel like I'm playing with people who are below the skill bracket that I'm at currently. I don't feel that my skills are being properly utilized. I feel like I'm just being left behind almost um and it's just kind of frustrating that i can't push through this this wall of master getting back to where i was because now i've fallen so low that the people that i play with and get grouped with are 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 not competently understanding where the game mechanics lie and how to utilize them in order to win the game. I mean, I just got out of a game where we had a Widow and a Pharah on DPS on a, on attack. And you know, I'm not, I'm not opposed to that if you know what you're doing. And here's the thing is that they don't. They pick these heroes that they play all the time in, in quick play and it ends up being an issue this is very loud, I should probably turn this down. There we go. At least for a while I'm making a video. And... Bring it, you little bitch! Wow. That is not nice. I don't know, this is such a raw video, this is so not, like, practiced or anything like that, but I feel like it's just an issue that's been on my mind, and it's very... It's very frustrating, because I don't know... An idea I had was, if we're going to have solo queue and competitive, we can't be judged based upon our team's performance. We just can't. If you have a Symmetra main on your team and she's the one that brings you down, I should not be losing 20 points. That's not my fault, okay? And maybe one day um, Symmetra will be viable on both sides because that's what Blizzard's been trying to do for a while now. But as it stands right now, she's not. She's not a good hero. She's not going to make any monumental plays that are going to change anything unless you're, like, the luckiest person alive. And it's, and it's unfortunate. It really is. I wish Symmetra could be played more commonly. I wish that we had other heroes that could be played more often on both sides of the team. But the fact of the matter is that's just not possible right now. And the fact that I'm losing 30 points a game because we have people who have no idea what they're doing on our team is just... It's unfortunate. It's, it's just really... I, that's the only word I can think of. It, it really is. It's just... How, how am I supposed to get out of this? I can't. I can't. There's no way. And so, I don't know. If you're playing with a group, you should all win and lose the same amount of SR. If not, then I don't think we should be getting penalized by getting placed with poor performing teammates. Either way, what are you guys' thoughts on this? I'm curious. Do you think that having a more solo-centric uh, solo queue is a good idea? Or do you think that perhaps it would be better if everybody... Um, was grouped with the team even in solo queue as far as SR goes. Um, thank you for watching and uh, appreciate you. That's a good way to end.